Okay. So, box. This box is from Michaels. It was $4.99 with 40% off. So, I think it's like $3.27. And I just thought it was cute. It's pink. I like that it's pink. We have some ribbon. And I didn't buy ribbon. This is ribbon I had left over from the wedding. 75 years ago. Yes, I still save everything. Um, and then these were from the Dollar Tree. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And nine bunches. And I also bought some styrofoam. What's this called? Like floral foam. So, I want to try to build a bridge because I don't want them that low in there. I don't want to leave all this stem on there. So, I bought two of these. Oh, nope. I lied. I bought three. I thought about three, but. Three. So that was 9, 11, 12, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 3. $15, like $16. So, starting off pretty good. Alright, first you want to start by unwrapping all this floral crap. Okay, so that is what those look like. I didn't know that flash was on. And those are like supposed to be water, little water beads. And this is what the ones from Dollar Tree looks like. So there is a difference. There is a difference. Um, these were three for twelve dollars. So I mean, you'll end up spending about the same amount of money. But I could not drive back out to Tinley today, so I just have to. Dollar I want to show you what the inside of the box looks like. So. These two are, so it, underneath it looks just like this. And I just took one half, cut it in half, and squeezed it back there. Okay. So now we have to cut the flowers off the stem. Okay. So, can you see inside the box? Okay. So I decided to take all these off. And, God, that smells really bad. It really does. But anyway, I decided to take these flowers. Can you see your back? Okay, I decided to take the flowers and take this part off. So now we're just going to stick them in the box. Um, This foam is really soft. So I'm going to try to push it all the way to the bottom, kind of, but not really right here. Just want to check the angle of it and keep going. Put in as many as possible. Try to smash them together. You want them to look really close and perfect. Not too smashed. Like, that might have been too much. That might have been too close. All right. So, I will come back because this basic, what I'm doing right now, you don't think you guys need instruction on doing that. So... I will come back in a few seconds once I have basically all of them in here. So we're gonna go around in this go around the border first and then fill fill in the middle. Also, if you're having trouble with the foam, with the flower stand in the foam, you can always hot glue them. Alright, I'll be back in a second. Okay. So we did the outside. Now you want to keep going around in the square pattern to fill in the inside. The good thing about this is they are very forgiving because they are so wide. So you don't need as many. So. I think it's looking nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So that was the four bunches. I think that I could probably get away with only doing two more roses in here. So I'm gonna cut these two off the stem and then I'll come back. All right, last one. Okay, I think that looks good. We have no spaces. The sides are full. The middle is full. Um, you can fluff them if you like. They're pretty much open wide. Or I might like, you know, adjust them a little where I see need fit B. All right, now for the bow. Um, I cannot tie a bow really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a bow off camera and I'm going to go back, tie this on there and glue the bow on there. So give me a second. All right, so this is the finished product. I'm going to hold it down. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.